Hey guys, Tom Photoix here. I've got another Lightroom editing video for you. And today I thought I'd edit this photo, which I actually took um, a few months ago when I was on holiday in uh, in Wales. And uh, me and my wife went away with the dog and we found this really amazing lake. And we spent several hours here. Um, I was using my Nikon D700 and I was using my, I think it was the Tokina, um, no, the to the Cosina rather, Cosina uh, 17 to 35 millimeter. And uh, you can see here at 20 millimeters f11. And um, I also had the um, high tech pro stop, 10 stop filter fitted as well uh, to get a bit of motion in the water. And the water wasn't really moving a great deal because it's quite a still lake, so that's why it's not perhaps quite as silky as maybe it would be like if it was the sea. Um, but anyway, I've I've, um, I've chosen this photo because it's all right, but I think this half here where this fence post is lets it down somewhat. Uh, the horizon's a little bit wonky, and it just needs sort of sprucing up to make it sort of a bit better. And um, I thought this one would be a good one to have a go at. Um, I'm still using Lightroom 4, as you can see up here, so uh, I haven't upgraded 5 yet. Uh, I've reset back to how it came out of the camera. So this is the uh, the RAW file, or the JPEG preview of the RAW file. And uh, I'll quickly edit it now as quick as I can and take you through it. Um, so I'm going to do it exactly how I normally would. And the first thing that I'm going to do straight away is get rid of some of these dust spots up here. So I've selected the uh, spot removal tool and I'm zoomed in and I'll get rid of some of these. There's also, that looks like a little hot pixel up there maybe, so I'll get rid of that. And then what I do, I just press the space bar and then just scroll through the image, looking at the sky and seeing if I can see any more dust spots anywhere that needs sorting out. This one doesn't look too bad, it's pretty clean. Perhaps there's a little one there. Uh, that's probably it, there's not going to be many in the middle. So check right into the corners, right along the edges. And that all looks okay, so we're done with the spot healing. Oh, I've missed one up there. Well, that's one that I just did and it looks awful, so I'll delete that. I've got this on clone at the moment. Sometimes if you click on heal and then move the, uh, the thing around, it makes it a bit better. That's a bit better. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is try and straighten this horizon a little bit. So we'll use the, uh, the crop overlay tool here. Uh, several ways you can do this. Uh, once you've got this box up, if I just get rid of that, you can twist it like that and try and get it level. Or you can click on angle here, which is the straighten tool, and then you can actually draw a straight line along uh, your horizon, um, and that will try and straighten it out. The problem I've got here is because I used such a wide angle lens, I've actually got a bit of distortion which is causing the horizon to kind of uh, barrel a little bit. So that straighten tool is actually not gonna work at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, use the normal straighten tool, and just get it looking about right by eye, just till it looks straight enough. And I'll click okay. Next thing I'm gonna do, you can see there's a bit of vignetting. The corners are a bit darker than the rest of the frame. So I'm going to come down to this uh, post crop netting and I'm going to slide it up a bit until those edges look a bit brighter. Uh, the other way you can do this is in the lens corrections. Um, some lenses have their own profiles and it will come up there. This lens that I'm using doesn't have its own profile um, so you can do it manually. And you can see now I can darken or brighten those corners using the lens vignetting tool as well. So I'm just going to put that back to normal. I'm going to play around with see which looks best. Uh, 
That one probably looks best actually. This corner down here is darker in the frame, and uh, that's just how it was. Um, it's more these corners that I'm uh, looking at. Okay, so now that's the image pretty much straightened up and uh, sorted out. I could, if I wanted to, use the distortion controls here to try and get rid of some of that kind of bulbousness, if you like. Um, that looks a lot better already, just even a tiny bit there. You will see where it's adjusted there, you've got this uh, section up here where the image has been skewed. So you will actually have to crop that out um, just by dragging the crop lines down a little bit just to get rid of that grey patch. There we go, that's better. Okay, so now I'm actually going to start editing this. Um, I'm not going to do too much to it, I don't think. I'm just going to do a bit of burning and dodging, I think, and a bit of clarity. Uh, I think the exposure is all right. I'll give it a little bit of contrast. I'm going to bring the highlights down a little. Actually, I'll bring them all the way down, and then I'm going to boost the exposure just a touch. Like that. Uh, I'll give it a little bit of clarity. And I want to boost the shadows a little. Try and get this area uh, brightened up a bit. And you can play around with the tone curves or just use the, the uh, point curve presets. I quite like to get sort of a, a very shallow S shape uh, on this curve. You can do that by dragging different points around or you can do it um, using the sliders down here. Put them back to default. But if you imagine an S, a very shallow S, and try and get that sort of shape. Doesn't work for every image, um, but it's a good starting point to uh, work from. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. I think I'm happy with the saturation. Uh, I don't think I'm going to touch that. I'm going to leave sharpening. It doesn't need noise reduction. What I am going to do though is I'm going to try and bring out this post a bit more and I'm going to do that using the adjustment brush and the lighten tool. So get your cursor somewhere about the same size and then just drag it down. Make it a bit smaller for that bit. And I'm also going to go over some of this dark grass down here. You can see where you've done by using the mask overlay. And just try and get up into these bits. Get rid of that. That's brought it out a little bit, and then you can play around with these sliders as well. You can bring the exposure up a tad. I don't want it too much because then it starts to look unrealistic. And I can also see a bit there that I've um, gone over, so you can go to erase and then just get rid of that. You can bring the shadows up a little. Again, there's another bit down here that I've gone over. I don't want it to look stupid and unrealistic, I just want to bring it out a little um, from the shadow that it was in. There was a natural shadow, there was a tree behind I think that was um, that was blocking the sun getting to that particular point. I think that looks okay. What I also want to do is try and give these rocks down here a little bit more punch as well, they're a bit bland at the moment. Um, so I'm going to use the adjustment brush again and I'm going to use the burn tool 
and I'm just going to go over them with the burn tool and you'll see that's actually darkening them which is fine for now but what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost the clarity on them and I am going to adjust the exposure up a bit I just want them to kind of jump out a little bit more but I don't want them as exposed as they are because they're quite bright so I'm just going to paint over all of them it doesn't have to be exact it can be pretty rough I'm just going to go over all of them very quickly I might spend a bit more time doing this normally but just for this video I'm just going to be quick you can see there that I've just very, very roughly done the outlines of them. And then you can just play around with the sliders. Okay, that looks alright. Now if I was doing this properly I'd probably spend a little bit more time just fiddling with some of the sliders but I'm actually pretty happy with that as it is. Um, if we come down here you can see from what it was. So that's how we started, it's pretty bland, pretty dull and you see I've just sort of spruced it up a little bit, it just looks a little bit better. Uh, the sky was already pretty well exposed, so I didn't need to do any uh, graduated filters on there or anything. The water is a nice colour, it's got a blue tinge to it, and you can still sort of see through it. Grass is nice and green, this area here has been brought out of the shadows a little, and I've straightened it up and tried to get rid of a little bit of the, uh, the barrel distortion there from the lens. So the last thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to give it a little bit of sharpening. Put the masking up, you should press the Alt key whilst holding the uh, the mask and you can see there what it actually is going to sharpen I only want it to sharpen the very edges really so back there is right again don't need noise reduction so there we go I'm happy with that and that is how I edit most of my photos pretty much exactly that same way um, I don't spend hours and hours editing at all I don't really use Photoshop very often I do it all in Lightroom uh, just give everything a quick boost. So there you are guys, hope that was helpful. I'm going to put this raw file up on my website. Um, so if you want to download that and have a go editing it yourself, feel free. And if you want to uh, post up your edits or video your edits and put them as a video response, that would be really cool as well. Um, I've just set up a Google Plus page so you can add me on there. I'm um, on Facebook and on Twitter. Or you can email me at uh, tom at photoics.co.uk all the info is in the box below anyway cheers guys